family so uh, we this hundred billion could be quite useful at the moment i tell you what i tell you what Aaron, i'll do you a deal right you let me manage manage the money i'll give you a wank a day for a year and and right i'll give you 20 quid a day what? and a wank 20 quid and a, and, and a sandwich 20 quid a wank a sandwich a day every year I manage the money, all right, Harry? Well, that's a lot better than I was getting at Eton. I wasn't getting a sandwich. The called Truth continues to crumble around them after Sarah Ferguson, the Duchess of York, poured doubts on the claim that she taught Meghan how to curtsy for the Queen. In an interview with The Telegraph, Fergie said, I don't really know Meghan. I haven't really met her. Adding, I spoke to her at the funeral and I thought she looked absolutely beautiful. I think she is beautiful. Ah, and this flies in the face of claims made by the Montecito Moners in both their Oprah interview and Harry's book, Spare, or should that be Where, or indeed Spite, that Fergie had been a crucial part of their lives while in the royal family. Very quickly, um, right in front of the house, we just practiced and then walked in. And You and Harry practiced? Yeah, and Fergie ran out and she said, are you ready? Do you know how to curtsy? I said, oh my goodness, you guys. Sorry. Okay, right. Despite the lack of interaction, though, Fergie still offered some advice for the couple amid their never-ending bust-up with the press. Do you have any advice for Harry and Meghan? Uh, I think um, the best uh, way to answer that is to is to uh, really take hold of your own self and lead by example. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't give advice. I. I, I would say that your actions speak louder than words, and I, I feel really strongly about that. To what I was told. She is spitting bricks that he has damaged their brand. She, of course, is the innocent victim in all of this. Because she is being innocently victimized as a result of him. Nothing she's done, because everything she's done is perfect. But she has uh, been victimized and the brand is being damaged. After all that work I've done, up at five o'clock in the morning sending emails, and this is the res this is the thanks I get, and this is the result. You, oh, I mean, what a dope! Well, if you marry a fool, what do you expect? She claimed to have caught Meghan in the act of photographing Princess Charlotte's nursery bedroom at Emmer Hall during Christmas 2017. According to Teresa, she immediately kicked Meghan out of the room and reported the incident to Prince William and Kate Middleton. Kate then confronted Meghan about the photos, but Meghan denied any wrongdoing and blamed Kate for doubting her. So essentially, Meghan pulling the same old narcissistic stuff, when a narcissist gets caught, they turn it around and blame the person. Hmm. But you can just tell how manipulated and sucked in he is by his wife. I mean, Candace, he still believes, he still believes that Megan had no idea who he was. He says multiple times in the book, she's never Googled me. She's never Googled my family. She has him wrapped around her little finger. And that's not to say that Harry shouldn't take the blame. I've always said right from the start, I think they are both to blame for their actions. But he is manipulated by her, is he not? Absolutely. And what's so funny about that is Megan is a trained actress. What she does is that she studies people. She's not a good actress, but she is a trained one, right? She's been doing it her entire life. And there was no doubt that she studied Princess Diana. She studied her mannerisms towards Harry when he was a boy and the way that she grabs her face. And this is the psychopathic elements of what she does, uh, putting a pregnancy text next, next to Princess Diana's hair, saying that she put her hands on the grave to have a conversation with her, bursting into tears. And she has convinced, there's a thing called in psychology called the Freudian transfer. She has convinced Harry that she is Princess Diana, except this time he has an opportunity to save her. That is the truth, and, and it's worked, right? So she's done this convincing performance for Harry that I don't know how I ended here, I just love you, and I'm just like your mom. And the one chance that you had to save your mom again, when, she, when he recounts that tale, and the things that she said, she threatened homicide on her unborn child and suicide on herself, and, and then she convinced Harry that it was his idea to use to leave the UK. Now, of course, if you could 
that threatened to commit suicide and homicide against my child, you basically said to Harry, you need to do something radical or I'm going to take my life. And that something radical was to leave the UK and to leave the royal family. And yet he believes that this was his own idea and not that these ideas were manipulated and planted into his head by Meghan. As I said, he just isn't very bright. He actually believes everything that that she says to him and and unfortunately i don't see how we can get out of it because he's got no one around him it's a perfect example when you learn about abusive relationships isolating someone entirely from their friends and their family making them believe that their friends and their family are the enemies i mean these are classic signs of an abusive relationship she has accomplished all of them getting him to speak loudly as speak out against his family i mean what late stage of uh, of of victimhood is he in right now so he is i i'm angry at harry for son to his family there is a part of me that does see him as a true victim in a very dangerous relationship that he is being manipulated within Guys, I can't thank you enough for watching and for being here. It really means the world to me. I really appreciate it. Uh, I have lots more videos coming out, so check back lots if you want to further support the show. I do have merch available. Recollections may vary. Make it make sense. You know all that stuff. Also, we have Patreon, patreon.com slash Real Housewives Recaps, where you can become an executive producer and get a shout out in a video very soon. Thanks so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.